you have to strengthen your inner voice, YouTube. You have to strengthen what you believe in because when you know what you believe in and you're confident about it, you can convince other people to see it your way and make the decisions that are best for you. Yaho, YouTube. I am Super Yankee. In today's video, we're going to talk about conquering bad habits. Well, what bad habit are we going to talk about conquering today, Super Yankee? Good question, YouTube. In today's video, we're going to talk about listening to other people's voices over your own inner voice. This is a bad habit that I struggle with almost every single day. And you might be thinking to yourself, oh, well, Super Yankee, you're so opinionated, man. You always listen to your own self and you know what you want to do, man. What do you mean this is one of your bad habits? YouTube, on the outside, it may seem that I'm always listening to what I say, but on the inside, I have a lot of ideas about success. I have a lot of ideas about what I want to do. I have a lot of ideas about what I need to do to become successful. And a lot of these ideas aren't my own. Because when I started making YouTube videos, I was really excited about the videos I was making. And in the beginning, sure, they weren't getting many views, but I was excited about what I was doing. I was having fun. And then the more I tried to get better at making YouTube videos, rather than focus on what I was doing in the beginning, building upon those principles, I started changing the message and the content I was producing. Now, is this wrong? I don't think it's wrong but I don't think it's effective for becoming successful on this platform because this platform is already a packed field with many other successful people on it. And when I started changing my message, when I started listening to the opinions of other people on how to become successful at YouTube, rather than focusing on cultivating my own inner voice, I stopped having fun making videos. This is one of the primary reasons I haven't been as consistent as I was back in the day. Because we as humans, because we as humans are super, because we as humans are super social creatures. And we seek validation in what we believe. We seek validation in what we think. We want to know that we're doing a good job. And most times, like nine out of 10, other people give us that validation. What I believe we have to learn how to do is to take that nine out of 10 and turn it into a one out of 10. Where nine out of 10 times, we give ourselves the validation we're looking for rather than looking for other people to give us that validation. Which brings me to my next point. Now that we've identified the problem, what is the solution to this problem? What's the solution to conquering this bad habit? Learning how to care about your inner voice more than the outer opinions of other people. Simply said, hardly done, YouTube. And the reason it's hardly done is because it's not just enough to hear it. It's not just enough to understand it. Because understanding and not doing is not really understanding. We have to apply this principle into our daily life, which means we need to get practice listening to our own inner voice over the opinions of others. And it's hard to get practice. It's hard to get practice when you're in the moment, when you're facing someone down and they're telling you what they think and it's conflicting with what you think. Because if you don't have a lot of experience listening to your own voice, you're going to get lost in the opinions of other people. So I'm going to give you an example right now that could help you out in the future. Do you see this road right here? It's a crossroad. I know that I live over here. I know that I live in this direction. I don't have to ask myself the question of which direction am I going to go in. But by asking myself this question, I'm bringing it into conscious thought and I give myself the choice. Do I go this way or do I go this way? I'm personifying my inner voice right now. I'm able to hear myself think. And because I'm able to hear myself think, I'm able to choose which direction I'm gonna go in. I'm able to choose the path of my inner voice. I could go in this direction, I could go home, but in fact, I'm actually gonna go in this direction. And what this symbolizes is practice listening to your own inner voice. Because I believe in order to really learn how to apply these principles in your own life, we need to get practice actually using them in the real world. And you wanna make sure that you get the practice done when it's easy as opposed to when it's hard. It's a lot harder to listen to your inner voice when you're with someone and they're peer pressuring you to listen to them. But when you're by yourself, maybe you have a better chance. Maybe you have more of a statistical average to make the choices that you want to follow. I don't know if that's a definite, but 
the maybe is the possibility to be able to build upon what you believe in, to be able to listen to yourself and to be able to strengthen your inner voice. Now I have some examples as well too. You see, there are times, it's situational, sometimes you want to listen to other people's opinions. Like if you're sick, you want to listen to other people's opinions. Before I was going to Bulgaria, I was really sick, but I didn't want to go to a doctor. Because I have this like mentality that like, oh, I can just power through this, like Hillary Clinton, I'll power through it, right? Because my coworker actually told me to go to the doctor and I listened to her and it turned out I was really sick. And if I didn't get the medication needed to cure my illnesses, I would be in much worse shape right now and not be enjoying my travels as much. This is a situation where listening to other people's opinions is actually really helpful. But on the flip side, my friend was in Switzerland, right? And my friend doesn't have a lot of money and my friend didn't want to spend 200 euros on a train ticket to the next place in Switzerland. She just wanted to enjoy where she was at. But her friend, the one that she was traveling with, was peer pressuring her to come with her on this trip. And my friend knew by her inner voice that she shouldn't have done it because she was thinking about her future, but she listened to the peer pressure and she gave in and now owes this person 200 euros in the future. You have to strengthen your inner voice, YouTube. You have to strengthen what you believe in because when you know what you believe in and you're confident about it, you can convince other people to see it your way and make the decisions that are best for you. And that's what's really most important right now. We're really trying to make the best decisions for ourselves. And sometimes other people know what those decisions are. But most times, in my opinion, we know what the best decisions for ourselves are. And that's the key, YouTube. The key to conquering this bad habit is knowing the difference. It's the synthesis of knowing when to listen to other people's opinions and knowing when to listen to yourself. The problem is that we're not taught to listen to ourselves in school. We're taught to listen to other people in school, in work, in social environments. It's something that we have to learn, something we have to put in a lot of time and effort cultivating because it's hard. It's hard to listen to your own opinions over the opinions of others because others tend to be more successful in the arena you're trying to enter than you. And it's good to take advice, but not to listen word for word because what I've learned on this path, and I've been doing YouTube for about a year now, seriously, is that if you're not having fun making videos, if you're not having fun producing videos, if you're not having fun doing what you want to do, you're gonna get burnt out and you're gonna give up. And this has happened to me several times, but I really want to bring back this fun environment, this fun mentality, and this wind is in the background right now. And that's why I'm making these videos. I'm going to start making the videos that I want to make again because you know what? If it makes you happy, so what if you don't get instant success? As long as you feel like you're in the right direction, moving in the right direction, this is a chapter I'm writing today on Wattpad about the tortoise and the hare, you can make the journey worthwhile. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Likes really help me out. I really want to see more likes on my content. Oh, dude, man, you'd be a part of my journey if you help me out there. Leave a comment. I love comments. They're like my favorite thing because I think commenting is the best way to expand upon your own good ideas in the content and have an interaction with me. Share this video with your friends because I really want to get that good word of positive thinking out there. I want to make positive thinking popular. I want to make it like, like pop culture. You know what I mean? And yeah. I forgot what else I was going to say in the video, but that's the video for today, YouTube. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.